Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, welcome back. If you're new, welcome for the first time, I'm pleased you could join us. Um, right, got a new journal starting, um, so far just in the end. <laughs> because um, I started thinking last night about um, this new journal that um, I've got, someone's ordered. And um, I went um, to get out the papers and that, start looking through things. And plain coffee dyed paper, I was completely out of, apart from one sheet. So I've got a lot dyed now, last night, enough for the book. But yeah, it's just drying. So what I thought I'd do is work on some page layouts. Um, depending how long it takes, I might just do one, or I might do two, but as you can see, one sheet of A4 paper on a normal standard journal is four book pages, so there's a potential for four layouts, but yeah, at the moment, let's just concentrate on one. So, I did my coffee dye, and I've got some lovely doilies, all dyed as well as paper. But this poor little one has got a tear, you see. But, oh, isn't it beautiful? Look, it's not just a heart. It's got the roses and that. I can't throw it away. It's too pretty. So, like I said, it's coffee dyed. I just want it to stand out a little bit more on the paper because it's got a very similar tone. So, I'm just going to get a little bit of ink gently onto my edges that aren't torn and yeah we'll use it and you won't see the tear we're going to use it in its entirety sometimes i'll tear them up putting them on um tags and pockets and that using them to decorate all number of things but this one i really like it as it is apart from that little hole so we're going to work around it oh really gently that's better it stands out a bit more i want a little bit up here a couple of darker bits that's it i love it right so let's go up and play. and i hope you're all having a lovely day today i've got the house to myself so I thought I'll crack on and start while I've got an empty house and not loads of noise. Sorry, I'm just picking the ends off my glue. <laughs> so I want to be gentle with the glue. We won't need a ton on a doily, but because you've got all the holes, haven't you? So I've just got to try and gently get onto the edges with a bit of glue. And don't worry if you can see it through the holes when you can flip it over because once it dries it will disappear. But yeah, I just wanted to get it on. Let's put a little bit more in this centre actually. And a bit on the roses. Right. Let's get a bit there. Okay, so I'm thinking about here, no, a bit higher. I'm thinking about here. That will be perfect. So it's quite central, and yeah, just on the wonk. Isn't that pretty? Right. So, what I did, I cut out, I was actually. Let's rewind. I was going through the scrap papers and that and found this already cut out and thought, oh, I love these, you know. So how can I use this? So then I've cut one a bit bigger and I thought we could have them here and maybe a bit on top for journaling like that. So let's grab that bit. And you see now, once that's there, that little tear 
Uh, it's completely disappeared and it all looks fabulous. As I knew it would, it's a beautiful thing. It's a fabulous thing, isn't it? You know, I um, I was never going to chuck that in the bin when the finger went through it. Oh no. I know there's some things where if you ruin them, you have got to chuck them away. But I don't if I can help it because, yeah, the majority of this bit of this doily was fine. And yeah, the last thing I want is for that to go to waste because it's so pretty. And I knew it had a, a good potential. Yeah. Right, so, I want that there. Um, right, I'll be right back. Right, now I thought, just to go under this, to make it a bit different, a bit different, rather, maybe I could put a bit, this isn't vellum, it's tracing paper, I'm just using it up, because I realised that I had it, but I find for printing onto, for binding in journals, I prefer vellum, but, yeah, I thought maybe like that, but then it would look muted and that, but you wouldn't know that what was making it look like that. So then I thought maybe if we did half and half, then it, you can see that something's over it. So that, I think, is what I'm going to do, just to make it another little thing so like i like i like it when doing a page layout to sort of have lots of things that are drawing the eye towards it you know it um it's good to leave some pages blank and whatnot but um right, tiny bits of glue around the edge because of it being tracing paper too much glue you'll see all through it and it won't look all that but yeah it's good to leave some pages blank to um journal on but i do like having little bits and bobs where people might not notice it the first time and then the second time they go back and they think oh yeah i didn't notice that oh yeah that sounds different you know it um i find that fun trying to think of those things that will draw the eye, make it look a bit different, and what have you. Right. And then there's like a little spot to journal on with this piece of paper. Let's see. Yeah, that is fine. And just a little bit on here. And Right, that on there. I bring it down a bit so we can see some music notes. Right. Okay, so I like that, but I want some trim down the edge. So I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous trim. And I thought I'd put that along the edge like this. But now I'm thinking I might want something underneath, so I'm just going to grab some bits. Right, I'm thinking to make this stand out a little bit, maybe grabbing something in this navy blue and seeing what that would look like underneath. Right. So, I'd bring that out. Oh, let's move that. We could have like that. Yeah, that's quite nice. Right, sorry, humour me a minute while I play around. Um, I do like that. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. Oh, it's not right. Right, I think I prefer that one over that one. Oh, or, right. <laughs> one more. Let's see. Or, some sparkle. 
and that might be a bit too much. Mm. And they do go nice together. They, that. No, right, I do really like this sparkle, but I've decided no and to go with the the wide navy, this one. So it just overlaps that heart a little bit. Or, right, or I might go with the thin navy. I really am, I'm so sorry. Right, after all that playing about, I'm going to go with the thin navy. <laughs> I really was tempted by the sparkly, but um, this has got a bit of twinkle in it, a little bit of sparkle, so I am going to save the other one for using somewhere else. Right, I'm making sure that I've got this the right way up. Yeah, that way. Right, and I'm just going to get this on first, the navy. And so yeah, I'm starting a new journal, I need my pages dry, and yeah, I'm really at that exciting stage, because, do you know what, I haven't realised it, but, in moving, I, although now I've got my desk and that, and I'm starting to get more organised with my supplies and everything, and I'm going to take this off, off there like that so I know it's definitely button up to the edge like it isn't in the middle there but yeah right what was I saying I'm starting to get more organized and everything like that but do you know what I hadn't realized it until now but I sort of, I was differing. I didn't know where to start. We're already a month into this new year. And although, like, obviously the first couple of weeks couldn't work and that. And then, even now I am, I haven't started a new journal yet. And I, I said the other week, didn't I, or last week, I've, I've got one in my head, I know what I want to do. But I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I kept differing. And I don't put that right like, yet. Yeah. I kept differing and not making decisions and that and so I didn't realise how much I was doing it but then now I've just got a custom order and so it's taken all of that weight that I didn't realise I had on my shoulders but I had. I think... I suppose, like, maybe you just go through times, don't you, sometimes, when, like, you lose your mojo a little bit. And although I was still creating and really enjoying creating and everything, yeah, but I hadn't started on a new journal because, yeah, I couldn't get myself to focus. But I had a little chat with someone yesterday and... um. They've given me a few things that they would really like this in this journal, or for this journal to be like, and it sort of took that all that decision making away from me. I've got a clear focus of how I would need this one to turn out, and because of that, oh, I'm so grateful because. I was just, I don't know how long I would have been different otherwise. And I've got, we've got a little thread there that shouldn't be there. Let's snip, that's it. I like that. I'm really pleased with that. So I'll just snip this off. And there, we've got our first page layout for the journal. Right, I do really like this, but before we flip over and do a second page layout, which we will do because we've finished that really quickly, I'm just going to stencil a tiny little bit up in this corner. 
and it ain't got to be a lot because um, like I don't want this, I've chosen this corner one, but I don't want that whole lot. I'm just going to use a small piece so it's just coming onto the page. And yeah, just because it's going to be bound in the journal, you won't see much of this, but um, I just wanted a little, a little bit more. Like I said, I really enjoy just putting little bits and pieces that you might think, oh, I never noticed that was there, you know. I really like that. So, that's page layout number one. So, let's do this one now, I think. And I think I'm going to, I want a couple of pockets. So, I'll just grab our bits and pieces. Right, so I've got a nice bit of tracing paper here. And... I want a couple of pockets of tags in, but I thought it'd be nice to do those tracing paper ones like I did the other week. I liked how they came out. I'm just finding the middle because I thought the depth, I kind of liked the depth for these pockets. So, let's get that crease right lined up there. And right, then we've got our pockets. Well, they're not pockets yet, are they? They will be. Right, so. How wide? I think two inches might be wide enough. Let's see. No, I'm going to go two and a half inches. So. I'm going to score at two, oh, very gently with this tracing paper, it don't like to stay still, I don't, that score that didn't feel straight at all, right and I'm going to score at four and a half which is there. And that will give us a pocket that wide. So I'm going to, obviously I've got excess that I've got to cut off, I shall do that in a minute. Right, so there's my line at two, this tracing paper, it's awful for scoring, and four and a half, right. I'm finding it better to go from the bottom to the top for some reason, but that's those done, I'll keep that. And I'll keep this. <laughs> I'm going to need them both, aren't I? Because we need the bottom. Now, let me cut off my excess before I do anything else. Because I seem to have a hell of a lot. Mm. I do have a lot. Okay, so we can cover that then. We'll just put that over here. And I'll neaten that up in a minute. But I just wanted to get it out of the way so that I can just come half inch in. Is that half inch yet? Yeah. I'm going. And with this one, half inch again. Okay, so we can fold these up and then make our pockets. Right, so I've got our. Um, pockets folded and burnished they're done I want to make cuffs before I glue them so I'm going to get some book page because that's what I want the cuff to be but I'm going to do it different to what we had before so let's grab the cuff back on the scene and 
I haven't ripped this page yet. And then I'll cut, I'll, we'll get rid of the top. Which I think would be better doing with the flatter side rather than that. Okay. Just that top bit. Now, that's an inch. I don't want it as wide as that. I'm going to lose a bit more. Right, let's go there. And then... Oh, this... I think I need a new blade on. I might have to do that in a second. I'm not going to do it right now. Oh, am I? I'm... Oh. Right, so I've got my tracing paper folded and burnished. And I've got a strip of book page that I've inked because I haven't glued these together yet because I wanted to make a cuff for each one and then we decorate it after that. So let's grab my glue. I might have to hold these up a bit just to make sure I'm getting a straight line. So right, let's see. I'll try not to get the edge in the way. I'm just going to lift that with the glue. And yeah, that looks quite straight. I think I'll maybe touch up. No, I've gone too far. No. I'll fold the other bits in, like the sides in, in a moment. I just want it to look kind of straight. <laughs> we'll see. You can probably see it better than I because you're um, looking straight down. And like I said, I, sh I need to hold it up, really. Um. Right, let's see. Most about the same. Oh yeah, look, that is spot on. Right, perfect. Okay, so I'll fold these around and put a little bit of glue there. Oh. And the same on this one. And then, oh, a little bit, if it can come out, yes. So, we've got our little pockets and our cuffs. And, right, I think I want something kind of dangling down, so let's have a look. Right, so I found a couple of decorative brads that I really like. But then I found, I was looking for some little bits and pieces and I found this thin ribbon. I've got a little piece that size and then I've got a longer piece that I can cut. But look at that going through the centre. I really like that. So before I do anything else, that is a must, I think. I don't know whether I'm going to use these now, these brads, but I'll keep them out just in case. And I know we're doing page layouts, and in a minute I'll put these on the page, and you'll see where I was going all along. Right. Right. I can just trim that off in a second. Um, I've already glued it, and I, I forgot. Um, mm. oh, I don't need that much at that end. Let's pull it right across. Otherwise, it's just wasting it. And, yep, yeah, I like that. 
so just give these a little trim and then I'll grab our piece of paper back over and we'll layer up the page I haven't finished with these yet so I'll come back to those but I'll start putting bits on the page that I want underneath these right so when these do go on the page these will be the last things and I want them slightly overlapping so I'm going to put the bottom one slightly overlapping that the top one because you'll still be able to get into both pockets and um, yeah I just think it'll look really nice but they're coming last. What I wanted to do first is get some lace. I want two columns, just a piece, two pieces, and the bits and bobs to go on top. I just think that will look really nice. I'm just checking what way is up. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah, I want to come in, I don't know, it looks like inch, three quarters of an inch, something like that. Let's get a straight line. And our lace. Just coming straight down like that. So yeah, I am. Um, I really like that. I'm gonna do the same again, coming in about the same width, like about there. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, this is a godsend um, to be able to get back into the swing of making books, putting them all together, deciding what's what and that um, because I've got a remit, you know, that I'm going to stick within for my client but yeah, it just helps when you've had a bit of a break and then and a lot of stress I think that's probably what's done it for me. It's the amount of stress. And I've been doing little, lots of little projects because I just couldn't, I didn't, I weren't chilled enough and that to start any big projects. But now I've got this to do, it's, I've got that excitement that I always normally do get, which I hadn't had, but I think it's because I was so run down, very tired, had a lot on, and that. So, yeah, I like that. Yeah, this is perfect timing for me, really perfect timing, because I've been saving it for the last couple of weeks to like my family and that, but I... Although I was saying, right, I've got to crack on, I've got these couple of journals that are in the heads, I won't do them. So look, when I lay these on the page, eventually, I will have that one there, and that one there, roughly, so, or maybe a bit lower, but so that the lace is peeking through at the side. But, yeah, I want to still do a little bit more on these, and I haven't popped this stuff in together either. Right, so I've got some eyelash trim and I've also got this string and I think I'm going to make a couple of little tassels. So I'm going to want it about that long, I'd say. So I'm going to cut some pieces and we'll make our little tassels. Right, I've cut two pieces of eyelash trim for each pocket and I've got one piece of um, string rather 
per pocket. But what I've done is unraveled it. So I just give it a little twist and then that gave me three strands to pull apart. So there it is like that. And I'm just going to get all three trying to get them lined up. So I've got the middle. And they're going to go on here like this. So they're going to go beyond the beyond the brad and then they're going to come down and I'm going to kind of try and poke the brad through maybe a little bit above our ribbon and that because otherwise I think it would be difficult to poke through and then we'll glue it in so we can still go on the paper we might get through, hang on, let me use my poker tool. So I want it about there. Okay, I am through without stabbing myself. And just gently, because I don't want to rip my tracing paper. Um, oh, that's a bit of paper I've got folded up there for something else. Right, I'm going to get a bit of glue on here. I'm going to grab my brad again with my taken apart string and my eyelash trim fibres and I'm going to poke that through right. and then open my brad and hopefully the glue behind the brad once it's dry should keep this from escaping anywhere. Right. Open my brad properly. That's it. Right, that's one done. And I want to do the same again. If I haven't glued this together, it's, it's where it's so thin, it's very difficult to get apart. Oh, I might need my pokey tool to get in there for the minute. Once it's had a tag going in and out a few times, it won't be like that. I'm going to do this one on this side so that they're both on the outside. And again, as gently as I can, pushing it in so that I can get a bigger hole. Right. And then again, trying to find the middle roughly and you can always trim these up afterwards get it you want them around the brad nice and tightly oh and that one's just came out let's do it again right we want our fibres and our brad right and I want to get some glue around the hole that I just made Pop our brad inside. Oh, it's come open. No, we need <laughs> we need his legs together to get through. Right, come on. Oh, this one's much more fiddly. Right. Let's get that nice and tight. We're still on my our glue's not properly dry. I've just got to get nicely through there. It feels like the hole doesn't go all the way through. I know it does. I made it myself. I've blocked it with glue. Mm. That's it. We're in. And then 
I'll put a twist my bride a little bit. Open her up. Twist it again a bit more. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, so then once they're in the book, they're going to look gorgeous like that. I need a little bit of washi to go inside and cover my brad. If I'd thought of it beforehand, I could have just attached the brad to this cuff that I made. That would be the much easier option if you're going to do it. Attach it to the cuff before you've attached the cuff to the um, thing. The pocket. Right, now this washi might be a little bit too wide. I know it, it will be. So I'm just cutting a bit off and keeping that bit. Oh, and again with this, because you don't want to see it. It's just to stop the brad catching all the time when you're putting things in and out. Which, like I just said, if you did it, if you touch the brad to the cuff, it won't be in the pocket. That accident will never, ever happen. So that is the best idea. So do, don't do what I've just done. Do it the other way. <laughs> and you'll be fine. Right, see that's got to go down a bit. I can see it. That's it, I think. Yeah, I can't see it now. Right, so that's covering those. And again, I can see it stuck to my hand. But... That's okay. Let's get it on my finger. A bit of glue to help it, because wash is not the stickiest, is it? Well, especially when you want it to be sticky. When you don't, it <laughs> it can sometimes surprise you, can't it? You think, I'll just put that there for a minute, and then it's never moving again. But then, yeah, other times when you want it to stay in place, you can struggle. Right, so that's cool. It's totally on the inside where the paper line is, so you can't see it at all. And then now, I just think we'll give a little trim, a little air cut, to try and sort of, they've not got to all be the same length, but just to neaten it up a little bit. I'm not cutting a dead straight line. And again, this one. Right. So yeah, this one could be a little bit shorter and then they don't have to be the exact same thing. But... I want something on the bottom, so I thought I'd take a little bit more length off and now I've got this little piece of lace and I think going across the bottom there will really finish that off nicely, so I'm going to hold that up there a minute and put a bead of glue right across this bottom. And we'll get a lace right on there like that. Oh, it's a lovely colour. It's near enough identical to the colour of the string I'm using that was gifted to me by my, a lovely, lovely friend of mine. Right, so that's that one. And then again, I'll keep you out of the way. It's much easier. And let's see. Oh, perfect. I really like that. Right, 
and a little sharp scissors. Um, I really, really like how they've turned out. And so, on my page, make sure we're the right way up and we are. I want that one like that, and that one like that. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to have it overlapping. No, I am. Yeah, I want one there like that, and I want one there like that. And I think that will look really nice. So, I'm going to stick them down. Or am I? No, I'll tell you what I'll do. I think I'll wait until I've made the tags for those to stick them down. Just so I know exactly what height and that. So, I'm not going to do any more of them for today. This is page layout number two. Just as simple as that. I don't think it will need anything else to do into it. So that is going to be that page. And obviously the first one we've done page layout number one. And what I'll do is I can make these tags in a bit while the glue's drying properly and whatnot and I'll come back with page layouts three and four next time and yeah then we can sort of see how the, it looks with the tags in and everything so thank you very much for watching I've really enjoyed playing about making a couple of page layouts with you I know this looks like call that a page layout you just got two bits of lace but this is the page layout and like I said, I'm just going to, I need to see how deep my tags are until I decide exactly where I'm having these pockets. I might even have them on the wonk like that. I think that looks really gorgeous. So yeah, I'll probably have it like that. So thank you. I'll be back very soon. I love you loads. Bye for now. Bye.